Sports is brought to you by All Out Auto Repair, home of the $46 Saskatchewan and $66 Alberta Safety Inspection. Your complete automotive repair. Well, Moses, Lloydminster hockey fans may not have a whole lot of hockey to cheer for right now, but come April, uh, they're going to be hosting the Allen Cup, and we have another edition of uh, the feature that we're doing weekly, right? Yeah, Road to the <laughs> Allen Cup. And you're right. You know what? Would you believe that from Friday, it'll be in exactly a month away from oh, the wow. Allen Cup? Closer it's than I thought. Oh, you jeez, know, it's unreal. Uh, yeah, it should be a good one. We have a special uh, story today about one gentleman who's had to take a special trip up to Lloydminster. The journey to the Allen Cup can be a long one, and for one Border Kings defenseman, it's quite literal. Here's this week's edition on the road to the Allen Cup. After his junior career was over and unable to play CIS hockey for a season, Calgary native Giffen Nyron was given the opportunity to continue playing the game he loves. There's a coach there coaching at the UFC. His name's Corey Cross. A lot of you Lord Minster fans, uh, I'm sure, are familiar with the man, and he... Uh, Gave his brother a call. Nyron was led to head coach Kent Staniforth and the Border Kings, although he knew little about the league or the team. Yeah, I never even had a clue about the Chinook Hockey League in, uh, you know, southern Alberta, northern Alberta, and, of course, Lloyd here that plays in it. I had no idea of that league. And when I did a little research and found out what, uh, what it was and, you know, the level and the competition that's involved around it, it uh, you know, I was very excited to be uh, a welcome addition to the squad. His transition was seamless but it seemed a juggling act, playing senior hockey in Lloydminster while going to school in Calgary. I've missed a lot of Friday and Monday classes because, uh, you know, those are the only times to get to Lloyd is on a Friday and Monday. I just hope I, uh, to be honest, have a pretty smooth schedule with my exams back in Calgary and uh, I'm allowed to get up here and practice a few times before the Allen Cup happens and, uh, you know, develop a little more chemistry heading into the tournament. Next season, Nyron plans to go back to the University of Calgary to play CIS hockey and to finish his business degree. His time in the border city has left an impression, so much so he sees himself returning after school. From being out here and seeing all the gas and oil, I think I'm going to try the petroleum land management section uh, in a few years. The Road to the Raider Well Servicing Allen Cup is brought to you by Fort Gary Industries Lloydminster. For parts, for trailers, Fort Gary Industries is the trucker's best friend. Well, the weather is warming up and the snow is starting to melt, meaning golf season is right around the corner. And as Matt Schumont reports, today was the announcement of the second annual Hartnell, Hartnell and MacArthur Celebrity Golf Classic. Pleased to announce that uh, the second annual Hartnell MacArthur Celebrity Golf Classic is well underway. And with that being said, all that's left now is to get everything ready to go for the June 20th event. The committee says things have been going quite smoothly. We're noticing at our meetings already, we've been meeting for a couple months that uh, we're quite a bit ahead of schedule from where we were last year. A lot of the little things that uh, stressed us out last year are uh, going pretty smoothly this year and uh, a lot of the bigger things are accomplished already and uh, you know we're, we're pretty confident this year is going to be bigger and better than last year. The goal is to get at least 50 celebrities for this year's event with the intention to branch out. This year we're trying to diversify a little bit and bring in other celebrities from either the uh, music field or uh, other, other areas that uh, may be an interest to uh, the golfers in the field. Last year's entertainment was country music star Aaron Perchette, and this year the committee was able to snag another big Canadian act. We're, we're happy to announce that the Trues are going to be performing and golfing and part of the autograph session this year. So another Canadian act that uh, we're, we're hope uh, everybody enjoys. I mean, obviously some of their music that uh, is out there everybody knows, so it should be a good event and even bigger and better than last year. Fountain Tire is back as a major sponsor, saying it was a no-brainer to help out with this tournament. No hesitation whatsoever. I mean, these guys did such a terrific job, and they're such a good group of volunteers to work with. And, uh, you know, the families of Scott and Clark were just very excited to be back with them and, and doing this again this year. $200,000 was raised last year for various charities. The committee says it's nice to bring in this kind of money for a good cause. When you think the dollar amount's raising $200,000 and 100% net proceeds and 100% of that goes back to the back to the charities in our local community, it's, it's uh, you know, a pretty big financial boost for those that are involved. For more information on the tournament, you can visit their website. Matt Schumont, Newcap Sports.